I've been with Money Concepts almost nine years now. Prior to that, uh, this, is, this financial industry is a second career for me. I was a career naval officer and I was uh, retired as a commander in the Navy in 1998 and then entered this industry and I went to work for Merrill Lynch and I had a lot of success there early on. Four years into it I was the branch manager and it was at that point in time that I saw what a big wirehouse system was like and what they were doing for clients and I realized then that that wasn't the path I wanted to take. I was interested in being more things to more people and I felt that the big firms just couldn't offer those services to everybody the way I wanted to and with the freedom of independence. So that's when I actually started looking and Money Concepts came up on my radar because of a, of a Merrill Lynch person that had left and actually joined Money Concepts two years earlier. And that's, uh, that was my introduction and that's uh, how I came aboard. And I, and I really haven't looked back. It's been the best thing in my life that I've ever done. The way I, uh, I gain clients, I try to be active in the community and uh, be out and about. Uh, one of the disbenefits of independence, when you hang your shingle up, nobody lines up outside your door coming in to be your client. You still have to go out and win every relationship. So it's, uh, you have to let people know you're out there and you have to be involved in the community and you have to do a good service for your existing clients. So really, uh, I, I win my clients one at a time. Uh, as far as the planning, a client doesn't have to move their money to Money Concepts. They could just hire me to be a financial advisor. And that's a great feature that I couldn't do at the wirehouse. That was, that's a compelling feature. Because usually when a client will hire me to look at their assets and give a second opinion, or do just plain financial planning, invariably they become my client in the full capacity. In the independent arena, it's all about the client. We're held to a higher standard, much higher standard. With my credentials as a CPA and a CFP, I'm held to a standard where I'm required to put my client's interests in front of me. Doesn't mean I can't be successful and make a living doing what I'm doing, but still, I'm required to do that. The next step is to continue to grow. Uh, this past two years, I've doubled the size of my practice in hiring new advisors. Uh, I've brought more clients on board, and things are going very well. It's exciting because you reach a pinnacle in your life, you think, is this it? But then you continue to grow, and there's one more ladder rung that I'm reaching for. And, and I'm excited to see where that ends up.